Time to go live. No one wants to hear me sing, actually. Hold on, that's your job. What song am I singing today? I don't know. If you need me, call me. No matter where you are, no matter how far. If you need a lending hand. As fast as I can. Cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Wow. <laughs> I really miss karaoke. <laughs> this is getting good. We're going to take, um, we might be taking song uh, suggestions, <laughs> song requests for I'm next week. For it. <laughs> it's Thursday. I am, I don't know, I'm feeling everything today. I'm just having a, having a good morning. Um, Allie said, that's beautiful, Lauren. <laughs> wow, that's the first time anyone's ever called my voice. It beautiful. happens to have a little bit of a laughing emoji after it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Burke, no, Linda Burke's giving you a round of applause. <laughs> Danielle, I'm sure is clapping well, as well Danielle she, has witnessed my karaoke powers. oh my god Donna yes sitting on the dock of the bay I love Otis Redding like that's my go to Pandora station he's my man I love him hi Cisco I am excited to see everyone yes today is a good positive day yeah, yeah. we are going to take a deep breath Breathe in, breathe out. Woosa, woosa. <laughs> what is woosa? I don't know. It's it's, a, that's some, your word? Your, your not message. really. I heard it somewhere. Was it the karate kid? <laughs> Help me figure out where I heard woosa. Woosa. <laughs> well, I'm in a good mood today because my daughters made dinner for my husband and I last night. So I, yeah. Did I not tell you this yet? No. Oh, Lila yeah. told me she uh, hurt herself with a butter knife, but I yes. didn't know doing what. <laughs> that was because she was making us dinner. So she made, um, my daughters are six and eight, and you have seen them do their drive-bys on these live events. And um, Lila made me a an avocado and tomato sandwich all by herself, like cut open the avocado with a butter knife. I mean, that's talent. Um, and Lex made Eric a turkey, like a turkey tomato and mustard sandwich. And it was amazing because nobody has made me anything in the past no. and it's 20 years. And it's good that your kids <laughs> have that elevated palate so that you weren't getting like dino nuggets and ketchup. Right. <laughs> you which, got avocado toast. <laughs> which actually dino nuggets are pretty good, but... I'm, avocado toast all day long. I was I was excited. I'm not gonna lie. There is a box of Dino Nuggets always in my freezer. Is and there one of those? <laughs> you know, like oh, comfort food. Dino yeah. Nuggets. I love that. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan. Um, has anyone seen the people playing tennis on the rooftops in Italy? Look at those. Look, look at all the hearts. Aww. I love you guys. See, everyone's having a great day. Um, anger management movie Daisy has been watching. Hi, Christina. Um, Donna Turcotte loves the um, teardrop earrings. Um, uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, so in Italy, there's videos of people like way up on, on rooftops playing tennis with their neighbors. Uh. Which. It's amazing. There's also pictures of people in Italy with their, hopefully there's no children listening, with their asses hanging out the windows <laughs> trying to get tans. Well, there's some really good footage I from saw Italy. <laughs> in Spain, you know, a lot of the apartment buildings are sort of in this, like, there's three to a courtyard. And there was one apartment complex in Spain where there was two neighbors shouting battleship numbers across the <laughs> back and forth to each other. That made me smile. Listen, people are getting creative. I actually got um, Scrabble out from, I can't, I don't even know where I found it. I found it in like the chest below my, at the foot of my bed. 
Um, so I dusted that off last night. The girls and I are gonna we're gonna try some Scrabble nice. tonight, which should be it'll be interesting to listen to the words that Lila comes up with. <laughs> I recently re-downloaded Duolingo and I am brushing yeah. back up on my French. We did too. We're hey. doing Ital we're doing Italian. I obviously <laughs> have a preoccupation with Italy. Yes, and I've always had a preoccupation with France, so much that I have a French tattoo. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. We're just getting back to the childhood dreams we let go right? of. Right. <laughs> Which for me was being fluent in French. I know. <laughs> I know. My friend Carly, um, before she got married, took a trip to Paris all by herself and just wandered around the city. And, um, and I love that she brought me back um, a, a really beautiful, tiny painting from Montmartre. Um, and I don't know, it just reminds me of her and her free spirit. She actually um, married a gentleman that she knew from high school named Morgan Stoner. They both grew up in um, Situate, Massachusetts, which is a really cute little coastal town. Um, I actually love Situate sand for our jewelry because one of the beaches is called Egypt Beach and it's like super crunchy and colorful, like really um, textured and I love it. But interestingly enough, um, Morgan and Carlina Stoner moved to Maine and actually opened um, a marijuana medical, a medical marijuana growing facility. So it's kind of, it, it's funny that yeah. she married a guy named Morgan Stoner and now it's Carlina and Morgan Stoner um, and they are the proprietors of uh, Stoner & Co. in Maine and they're doing an amazing job. They have two unbelievably adorable babies. Have you seen their kids? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, their daughter, I love this, my, my, so Carly is one of my most creative friends in the universe, and her daughter's name is Wilhelmina Holiday Stoner, um, and then her little boy that was just born recently is, um, is Vaughn Banks Stoner. This is some good names. They're so good, and just, I love it. I see <laughs> lots of hearts. Hi, guys. Could be goldfish, and I don't know what that means. Mommy. Yes, I did. Is it be here? Sorry, <laughs> break time. Hold on. Do you want to read a couple of the comments? Yes. When's it going to be here? It's going to be here. I'm going to read some it. fun I'm customer so orders. Um, these ones, uh, for the past couple of weeks, I've been, been pulling here. ones that haven't been made yet. These ones have been made and are just waiting to be packaged. Um, so this one comes from Catherine S. <laughs> She's sending it to her friend and in the ship to, it says, don't open until your birthday. So uh, printed on the package, it's gonna say, don't open to your, to your birthday, which is really cute. Uh, so she ordered a touch the world gray elephant bracelet. And those of you know that each different colored string, one of 12 causes. We have 12 different strings, 12 different charms, 12 great causes. This particular one is the Gray Quartz um, Alzheimer's Awareness, Care, and Research. And her little gift message to her friend, who this is a birthday gift for, says, uh, M, just a little something that combines two things that you are so passionate about. This bracelet is created with sand from Isla, uh, Isla Majors in Mexico. And a portion of the proceeds for this bracelet are dresses and people that you love. Happy 30th, love K. So that's a double meaningful gift, which is one of the things I love about Touch the World is not only can you get a special place, you can also give back to a, a cause that's close to your heart. I love that. We have the, I, I always say this, but we have the most thoughtful gift giving customers. Like... I mean, they really, you guys, I just love you guys. You come up with the most brilliant gifts and messages and these like really sentimental um, mm -hmm. moments that they capture in the jewelry. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. I'm going to gush on you all a little bit more after I get through a couple more of these just because they're so cute. So Gloria has in her order comment to us said, thank you so much. This is a Mother's Day gift for my mother-in-law. She can't get to the beach anymore due to her, her age, health. So thank you for bringing the beach to her. Uh, and it is a delicate destinations necklace filled with Marco Island, Florida. 
And I just think that's so nice. That's, that's exactly really what we're trying to do. Bring the peach, beach and your happy places to you and those you love. And you can see that Marco Island has that really light white sand that's known for the Gulf Coast of Florida with bits of shell in it. I want to go to Marco Island someday soon when it's safe-ish. I did like Marco Island, but I got to say, and I know a lot of people out there are going to agree with me. Sanibel. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what she's going to say. Sanibel, you I don't even know. feel like you're in Florida. You feel like you're on a Caribbean island. Which Seriously. Is, oof. So, let me just look at these little comments on Instagram. We've just got lots of love and waves and fun people oh, popping so. in to say hi. And then we've got, um, hi, Kelly Donahue. <laughs> hi, Carmen Shay. Linda, I knew Linda was going to be like, Sanibel. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Debbie Murphy says, yeah, I've seen them playing tennis on the rooftops in Italy. I love the singing in unison also. Yeah, very good point. Hey, hu you know, human, uh, human nature is to survive. So it's really, it's good. Um, Debbie, Mur uh, I always say it wrong. Murphy, Murphy is, um, saying hello from Arkansas. Oh, I love hello. I know. I love that. Um, Florida beaches open Monday, Mary says. So that's exciting as long as you're all being safe. safe. Be safe. Stay away from each other. Yes, please be safe. I know we are all so itching to just go back to normalcy. And while it's great that, you know, different areas of the country are getting the opportunity to not have be on the same timelines as major cities where it's significantly worse. However, please continue to be safe. Uh, saw a huge spike in cases after they decided to go reopen. Um, so it's, there's still, it's still out there. It's still affecting millions of people. So as much as we want to itch and get outside and be reopened, wear a mask, sanitize, wash your hands, be safe because we love you and we miss you and we want to see you happy and healthy and in person someday soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, hold on. Can I tell everyone what I'm drinking? <laughs> is this something good? <laughs> Why isn't it in my cup? <laughs> um, it is. So before the pandemic started, I had gotten, I'm not like, I usually drink black coffee. Um, and I'm not like a super fruit bucks girl, but I ordered the honey flat white from Starbucks. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I got addicted to it mm -hmm. for like, probably like a month I had to have one every single day um and then so then as when this started my brother-in-law had gotten me an espresso um, machine for and so I I mixed the Nespresso coffee with like a teaspoon of honey and a little bit of milk and it's so good mm. it's so good you guys is that weird does anyone else drink honey in their coffee no <laughs> I only put... I love it. Actually, no. I don't even put honey in my hot toddies. I just put honey on a spoon and eat it. Really? Yes. All right. It goes back to my childhood. <laughs> Does it? Is it is yeah. just a thing? Mm -hmm. Source route. Have a teaspoon of honey, and I liked it so much that I just... Oh, uh, that makes sense. Asked for it, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I think sometimes honey is a craving for pregnant people, too. I found, and I'm not pregnant. I just, don't. Yes. Mm, well, you know, <laughs> it has to be over for that to even be a possibility. But I found that my mom used to uh, wrap slices of cheese and pickles and eat them when she was pregnant with me and my sister. And me and my sister are both obsessed with pickles wrapped in slices of cheese. That sounds good, actually. Oh, it is. Do you, oh, do you want to know what I ate when I was pregnant? Did I ever tell you? Like my, well, I was my, around for Lila. I'm trying to remember. Alexa, my first pregnancy, all I used to, I would sit down, this, this is disgusting. I would sit down with a bag of Cheetos and a jar of peanut. Hey, Frank. Oh my gosh. So excited <laughs> that you're watching. I love you. Um, Frank's like a super talented filmmaker uh, from the area. Um, Hello. hi, John Green. 
You got me hooked on the flat white too. Oh my God. Right? Mary, the flat white's so good. Um, uh, Danielle says people on social have been curious. There's still, is there still time to order for Mother's Day? Yes. I'm going to let you answer that, big boss. Yeah. <laughs> there is still time. Yeah, we're still taking orders. Um, we are still uh, crafting every piece at the dining room table here. And um, some of our artists are working from home. Um, we do have a couple of people in the studio getting orders out. Um, we are sanitizing. We are disinfecting. We are being as safe as humanly possible um, during this time. So the answer is yes. You may have to choose expedited shipping to get it there on time. Um, but I'm actually uh, going. I'm actually heading into the studio tomorrow um, to. Lauren and I both are heading into the studio tomorrow to um, kind of get a grip on the situation. Make sure we have everyone's Mother's Day orders ready and. We don't want to disappoint anyone. So yes. 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 And I would um, select a couple different or select an elevated shipping option just because the postal service in general has been really. Yeah. Good struggling. point. You yeah. know what? That's a really good mm -hmm. point. Um, the, the, uh, my UPS guy came yesterday and I was sitting out in the driveway for a little while with the girls. They were riding their bikes and he had some packages for me. I had done an order with um, Sephora and an order with Pottery Barn, the, a basket from Pottery Barn. But I'm like, hey, how are you? Are you busy? He's like, it may as well be Christmas. We're so busy. So apparently there's a lot of online shopping going on. So order quickly or order early um, if you need it for a specific date, especially for Mother's Day. If you need to do any Mother's Day shopping today, uh, or this year, go on today or tomorrow and use uh, the code kitchen table for 25% off, which is an unprecedented um, yes. percentage off that we've ever done. Mm -hmm. We're not a sale brand ever because everything's custom made, made to order, and we donate partial proceeds to many different charities. Um, so we're just not a sale brand, but we really want to shout out to people, I'll tell you that we love you and give you that 25% off. Yes, absolutely. Our marketing director kills us every time we say, please use code kitchen table for 25% off. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to give a shout out. As uh, a lot of you know, I am the events coordinator that goes out and meets a lot of you guys at these events. And I've been missing you so much that I've turned and offered myself into uh, sand styling at dunejewelry.com. And I have been having some great talks with you guys, like even deeper than what can Dune do for you. It's now been, oh, I'm from here. I like this thing. My family lives over here. Aww. What do you know about that? You know what's great <laughs> about that is when Lauren goes back on the road to do trunk shows, she's going to be staying at all your houses so I can <laughs> save money on <laughs> hotels. <laughs> We've got to, we have to build the business back up, ground up. So we're not going to have travel budget. Um, hold on. There's so many comments. Um, oh, my Jolie's working. So my friend Jolie is amazing. She, um, is a, was a school teacher, but now she does all the tech for many different schools in Plymouth, Massachusetts. So she's super busy. She has two little boys, um, and she has taken, uh, the quarantine very seriously. She really has not left the house in probably about four or five weeks. She's learned how to bake her own bread. Um, she's planting a garden. I'm just, I have to give her a shout out because I'm so proud of her. I think it's really cool. Um, Darcy, set, Darcy uh, Naraki um, says she mailed in her sand. She's so excited to get her piece of jewelry. I'm excited too. I want to know what sand, Darcy, if you're still, if you're still watching. Um, also, Sheldon Bartlett Rumor is the um, the star and creator of This Is It TV, and I'm going to be on there today at 2.30. Um, I think it's live. I'm not sure, though. But if, if Sheldon, if you're still watching, um, let me know and shout out all the... Yeah, so it's live. So shout out all the informa uh, information for everyone, Sheldon, because our Dune Wavemaker group here, our community, we call them Wavemakers, uh, behind the scenes, they are the best community of women, mostly women. Um, so shout it out. Jolie says she wants a Dune coffee mug. Do we sell them? The answer is no, but we will be, Jules, because I have some crazy ideas happening in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I called the whole team today. It's 
It's all happening. Question, I emailed, but I don't think I heard back. She mailed in Grand Haven, uh, Michigan, Singing Sand two years ago. Um, I know you... Uh, I know you guys bank the leftover sand. I want to use my sand to create another piece. How do I do that? You know what? Um, Darcy, email sandstyling at dunejewelry.com. I'll make sure we grab your sand and yeah. place your well, order. We may have to dig through the sand, like any of, uh, any of the sand that's not categorized yet. Um, but we can do that tomorrow because we're going to be in there. Oh, Chris Imperiali's on. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. I love you, Allie. We have to talk about Allie's event, too. Yes. Um, I may have missed, but where are you all from? Sarah Kazalt is watching. I love you. Um, hey, Sarah, great job on running almost 100 miles this month. Holy moly. Did you see that? I saw a, like 89 I, miles. I saw a picture of her looking like she had worked really hard, but I was going live, so I didn't have a chance to read it. Yeah, good job, Sarah. Amazing. Amazing. Um... Uh, the question, where are we from? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm, I've been choking on my own spit recently, oh, especially God. when I'm singing. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> um, Boston, Massachusetts, right outside. Yeah. Um, personally, I'm, I'm from America's hometown, Plymouth, Massachusetts. And, and I am from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, a little town called Orleans, but I also uh, grew up in Bucksport, Maine, which is like way up in Maine. Um... <laughs> And here I am in Walpole, Massachusetts. We live, we actually moved here because they've got a great public school system. Um, and I have two little girls. I want to make sure they're smart. <laughs> so here we are. Yes. <laughs> uh, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys is, you know right now, um, you can send us your own sand, your own flowers, your own corn, your own ashes. However, we have amassed a sand bank of over 4,000 sands and natural elements that is so much fun to explore on our website. Uh, it's very interactive. If you go to our website and go to sand and natural elements, the sand bank, it pulls up a world map that has just pins everywhere and all the locations that we have sourced sand or natural elements from. And there's pictures for 95% of the sands, some of the newer ones, we haven't gotten photographed yet. But it's just so much fun to not only see geographically how sand changes, but the different colors, the different textures. And you might think that we don't have sand from, or elements from a specific location, and then you'll go on there mm -hmm. and find out that we do. The cool thing <laughs> is too, like if you click on the, on the uh, pin in the map, it's going to take you to that area. Sometimes when you, like I was looking for a sand yesterday from New Zealand and I typed in New Zealand and nothing pulled up and I was like, this is weird. Then I typed in just Zealand and it popped up. Dustin, if you're still, if you're still watching this, um, take a look at that. But, um, so sometimes the sand bank can be finicky because it's just a massive amount of data, um, in one place. Uh, but it is fun. Like yeah. you, you can kind of just get caught up taking a tour of the world and seeing what we have in the bank. Yeah, I get lost in it all the time. And, you know, I, a lot of people at events I've said this to, and I actually told Holly's daughters, once they get to the level of learning about geology, pay attention, especially if they want to take up their mother's business. Because I have learned so much about geology just from yeah. the sand that we have. Yeah. I know uh, the different coastlines, why certain sands look certain ways, and it's fascinating to me. Did you guys know, and you probably do, but did you guys know that the reason the sand is pink in Bermuda is because it's fish poop? Um, there is a, a parrotfish, yeah, mm -hmm. parrotfish, um, that will um, go, they eat the coral from like uh, the coral reef and, and they kind of like gnaw it down and then it goes through their digestive system and then they poop out pink sand, <laughs> which is amazing. You guys, that that's amazing. That everybody knows about. <laughs> it's one of my absolute favorite sands and I just think that it's so cool. And if you um, are on YouTube and if you're really bored one day, you need to Google um, parrotfish pooping. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I am 
haven't gotten to that level of boredom. I'm still on the bird watching level of boredom. <laughs> bird watching? Yes. I know. Lila um, took a bunch of ba uh, like old bagels the other day and threw it all <laughs> out on the lawn hoping that birds would come. I mean, she <laughs> she's my little outdoorsy girl. Mm -hmm. like, I saw a blue heron yesterday. Did? Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, I was social distance hanging out with Dustin uh, on our, his back porch, and there's a little brook, and then just flying through the sky, there was a blue heron. I love it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, what else? What else have we got going on? <sighs> a whole lot of Mother's Day. A whole lot of, oh, I know something we could tease them about. But before we tease them about, <laughs> uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, Allie G, who co-hosted our bingo night with us, is hosting a Dune home party, obviously a virtual home party. Uh, it's on her Facebook page, so go to Allie G um, and you'll see the event link. And she's going to be having a private showing of some exclusive designs. There's going to be not one, but two raffles for a free piece of Dune jewelry and also some other special perks that we'd never offer that are only offered during the virtual home party. So you want to sign up and to be get an additional raffle ticket, if you sign up and then get one of your friends to sign up, you get another raffle ticket. So there's lots of fun things that are going to be happening tomorrow night at 7 p.m on the Zoom virtual home party hosted by Allie G. Holly and I will both be there as well um, because, you know, we have so much else going on. That <laughs> we it's just have to go really to the home fun. party. Oh, I do. I want to talk about the Islander yeah. again, too, because so the last live we did was just, it was a crazy day. You know, during this pandemic, you have some really good days and you have some really crazy days and the last live that we did was kind of crazy um so i didn't get to tell you guys truly about the islander in fort myers florida um it's one of our retail partners it's a wonderful group of people they sent us some super cute um items that they have in their store and i'm just going to show them to you one more time um because i love them and they can take um they can take uh, orders over the phone. Um, they can, uh, I think you can go to their Facebook page. They can do like a virtual FaceTime in their store. Like um, uh, if you're both on um, FaceTime, they can kind of take you over and show you what they have available. Um, but this dress I thought was really beautiful. Made, again, talking about Italy, made in Italy. Um, so soft, double layered. There's a beautiful slit up the side. I love it. The other thing that they carry, which I think is so cute, you guys who um, do a lot of Florida travel probably have seen these skirts before. They're these super colorful little skirts, um, tons of floral patterns and things like that. Um, and they've got an adjustable, that um, not an adjustable, a reversible, they're reversible. <laughs> Let me get it out. Um, so you can unzip it and turn it into this pattern and you can use this side of the belt or this side of the belt. So there's like all these different combos that you can make with this skirt. It's just super cute for summertime. I love it. Um, so I did wanna mention this to you guys. Um, I did show you the super flowy linen uh, dress. Oh, and Lauren, mm. we need Mary Tanana's cards. Tan am I saying it right? Tanana? Tanana? Are they out on the kitchen table? Yeah. All right, and then I, we've got a couple other things to show you guys that you're going to absolutely love. We're like chock full of everything uh, today, all good stuff. Um, so yeah, so the Islander, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. If you have any questions about them or if you like anything you've see, seen here, um, we can help you with that. Um, and Or you can call the store, but they have a ton of great stuff for your, if you want to, get your own self a Mother's Day gift, if you wanna get your, yourself just a because gift, or if you wanna purchase a Mother's Day gift for someone else, they've got you covered. I can tell you, 
looking at that dress and also the other dresses that I acquired from your hand-me-downs and the green <laughs> boutique, which we featured um, a couple of weeks ago, for those of you in Massachusetts and New England in general, I just want to wear my sundresses. I know. I know. I put this on today knowing that it was totally not a day for this type of dress, but I had to do it. I wanted to feel kind of light and bright and summery, but it's kind of gray and rainy here and again and cold. I know. Soon. I think Sunday is going to be like sunny and 70 is mm -hmm. what I've been told. So cross your fingers for us. <laughs> um, I last, I think last thing we've got, we're going to talk about these cards and you guys are going to love these. Um, actually, should we look at comments real quick before sure. I'm taking a peek? I will take a peek a leak. You're going to tell me I've got two seconds, kiddo. Nicole said, excited to get my order. I was supposed to be here yesterday, but mail's running behind. Yes, just hold tight. The USPS is going a little nuts. Uh, Allie G posted um, more about how to register for her home party. Make sure you register. We're all really excited. What is the name of that store again? Can you share a link? It is The Islander in Fort Myers, Florida, Carol. Um, we will, I'll make sure a link gets posted right to this chat. Right there, guys. <laughs> Just having a little kid. Pink sand is beautiful. Oh, Debbie, thank you. We're trying to keep positive and happy. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's awesome. Love my beach jewelry. Oh, thank you, Vera. Um, Lila wanted you to have this. Because you <laughs> said you were cold. Was cold. <laughs> yeah, just my, <laughs> just my pashmina that I've been wearing religiously. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got this at one of our retail stores. Oh, you did? So where most of my stuff comes from. Yeah. Because when you do a trunk show and you're in a really cute boutique, Standing around their merchandise for two, three hours, you really it's think impossible I'm not, not it to is. buy something. No, <laughs> it's so hard not to buy, <laughs> uh, which is a good thing. That means that all our retail partners are really awesome and they do a good job merchandising their stores yes. and bringing in really cool stuff. So, um, all right, well, last but not least, um, this, these cards. Are, um, are designed by a woman, Mary Tanana. She is um, the wife of our marketing guru, Jeff Tarashi. And she's just an amazing artist, you guys. I'm gonna bring these right into the camera in a second, but I just wanna read to you. Um, her company is called Groovity, uh, where creativity grows, designed by Mary Tanana. And she, you can find her on Etsy. Um, we'll have all the information. If you like what she does, definitely email um, sandstyling at dunejewelry.com because Lauren can get you all the information because yes. these are absolutely brilliant, you guys. They are all, this is all her original artwork. And um, like this says, do more, uh, do, do more of what makes your soul happy. And... The back is empty, so you could just, you could even just write a little note to a friend, pop it in an envelope, and just pretty much make their day. Here comes the sun. I think I just found my favorite one of hers. All good things are wild and free? Nope. What, which one? <laughs> this one. It says, stay safe, and it's a house, and there's a little kitty cat. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. It just made me happy to see the little cat like, <laughs> We have life is beautiful. You make the world a better place. Everything is going to be okay. Do what you love. I mean, you guys, come on. Good vibes. Start each day with a grateful heart. These are absolutely adorable. And yeah. you're supporting a local, uh, you know, artist here in the United States. She's from Rhode Island. I believe she does a pack of 10 or 12 for $9 and a pack of 24 for, I should have had these prices memorized, but we can post them. Uh, we can post them later on um, and just do a post on, the, on new, the Facebook. New favorite. New favorite. Those who plant kindness harvest love. I love that. 
You guys, I love it. Um, we have to support each other. We have to support small businesses. We have to support artists. We have to support women. I love men too, but women need to support women. So I say email us and go grab one of these babies today because yes. they are absolutely adorable. And I think we'll start picking a few and putting them in with, uh, with orders. Hey, you know what, Holly? What? You make the world a better place. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting a little emotional. Just be kind to one another. Seriously. We're all, we're all going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> At where I'm quarantining with my two friends, they had their downstairs neighbor move out. And two new, like, young, nerdy-looking kids moved in yesterday I with love, the cat. I love And nerds. I was just like, strangers? <laughs> strangers? Hello. New friends? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a new friend so badly. And on that note, if you want to make a new friend and you have any questions about Dune Jewelry, email Sam Styling <laughs> at Dune Jewelry, and I would love to talk to you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're funny. Um, you're making me laugh today. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of one last thing to sign off on. I think we have um, kind of showed you all these designs, but we will next week um, have some other new designs to show you and get your opinion of. Um, I'm just going to take a peek. Oh, Mary's actually watching. I hope I'm saying your last name correctly. Tanana, Tanana. Give me a thumbs up if I'm saying it right. Um, and we're, Mary, we're going to post, um, all of the information right on Facebook after this. Oh, there it is. Yes. All right, you guys. So here, so to get these little packs of feel good, awesome positivity, um, cards, you go to groovitydesigns.com. It's listed right here. Um, and yeah, support small business, support women. Let's support each other so we can continue to thrive. It's so important. Um, and then Allie, gee, what is on the table front left? Ripple? I'm trying to figure out what's, I think it is the ripple. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, is your left our left? I can't tell. This is the Ripple necklace. It comes on a 32-inch cord. This one is filled with that fish poop sand pink from Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and this one, it, uh, we called it the Ripple because it has ripples of silver going around the sand bezel. Um, it's kind of a cool, elevated, casual design. Um, that's been really popular. We launched it at the beginning of the year and it's been doing pretty well popularity wise. So check it out on our website and don't forget to check out our sand bank to see our over 4,000 options for you to fill the ripple necklace with. Finding Fabulous You says she's obsessed with our jewelry and I'm obsessed with her now because <laughs> that was so kind. Thank you. Thank you guys. I just love you guys. Um, I think that's it. We've got some really interesting things happening. Lauren doesn't even know this, but I did get a call from country R&B star Louis Bello last night. Mm -hmm. And he said he might be into being our um, intermission entertainment for the next bingo. Oh. I, you like it? You like it? Yeah? I can't tell when she does. She makes Lauren's facial expressions are very confusing <laughs> to me. Even after seven years, I'm like, does she like it? Does she not like it? You know what? She keeps me she on my me? toes so she... much. I gotta do something <laughs> to keep her on her toes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys don't know who Louis Bello is, check him out. He is super unique, and he's pretty and kind of really fun to look at. He's rad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We like Louie. Yeah, so maybe we'll have some eye candy for you ladies next bingo. Mm. Mm. And I think that's it for us. Yes. Was we that enough? We cut it off before it gets real <laughs> we weird. Could just, we could just keep going. Lauren could tell you about the dream she had last night that mm. An Antonio Banderas was in. but Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a good dream. <laughs> I think All I'm right. going to rewatch Desperado tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I think that's it. I love you guys. I'm so happy you joined us. Um, definitely go over to This Is It TV. Uh, Sheldon, uh, Sheldon Bar. I say Sheldon. It's yeah. Sheldon. Yeah. Why did I said Sheldon earlier? It's like Sheldon, Sheldon. Anyway, Sheldon Bartlett, Bartlett Rumor. Um, I'm going to be on chatting with her about small business and things like that. Um, next live, I'm also going to give you an update on the um, Small Business Administration. And if you are a small business owner and you need help, email me because I have knowledge and experience now with the um, economic uh, disaster loan, with the PPP loan, all of that. So you can email me directly, holly at dunejewelry.com. Um, I am more than happy to help you, talk to you, let you know my experience um, so that we can all stay in business and um, thrive. So the only way we're going to get through this is together. Is together. Apart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, I'm just seeing if there's one more late oh late night kitchen table talks need to be a thing, Dustin said. Yeah, that would get very interesting. Yes. Um, oh, Danielle feels the same about your expressions. It's not just me, you guys. That makes me happy. All right. All right, everyone. Have the best Thursday. Gear up for some good weather this weekend. I hope it's a great weekend for everyone. We'll see you next Tuesday. Um, same time, same place. 1230 next mm -hmm. Tuesday, hopefully with lots of good stuff. Mwah.